For each process, calculate the work done. Say what happens to the pressure, volume, and temperature. Okay, so let's look at A. So this one is for A. Okay, so this is pressure in Pascals, right? Volume in cubic. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of volume, but not very much pressure. Okay, so let's see. What is the temperature at the beginning and end of this process if this is for 2.407 moles of gas? Okay, okay. So let's figure out um, what's happening to the pressure. And so uh, the pressure is going from 1,000 to 1,000. So the pressure does not change, okay? So pressure is constant. The volume goes from 1 to 5, so it pentuples, okay? The volume goes from 1 to five cubic meters. So the volume expands, increases. Okay. Uh, what happens to the temperature? Well, here's the thing. You've got the fixed amount of gas. If it has this much volume, and then suddenly here it's got this much volume, but the pressure doesn't change, right? Then what must be happening is we have to heat it up. You'll see. We'll do the ideal gas law here, and we'll, we'll you know, show that the um, that the temperature has to increase, okay? So it says also, what is the temperature at the beginning and end of this process if it's 2.407 moles, right? So uh, PV equals NRT. So therefore, T is going to be uh, what? PV over NR. So the temperature here, we can read the pressure and the volume off of here, right? So its pressure is 1,000. Volume is 1, and is 2.407, a strangely specific number, and R is 8.31, right? Okay, so let's go 1,000, don't forget to multiply by 1, and then divide by 2.407, divide by 8.31, and we get 49.99, so the number we're supposed to get is 50 kelvins, right? It's awfully cold, this is a very chilly heat pump or heat engine, right? Or whatever it is, right? Okay. And then notice that it goes from uh, one to five, right? The only way to, to make the volume increase five times is to multiply the temperature, the absolute temperature by five, right? So T at five cubic meters has to be five times the temperature at one cubic meter, right? So it's five times 50 has to be 250 kelvins, which still isn't that warm, right? Okay. Now, let's imagine that you just don't want to do that. You're like, hmm, I will not use the combined gas law to do this, right? We could still use the ideal gas law. So here, at that point, it's 5 cubic meters. So it's going to be 1,000 times 5 divided by the moles, which is 2.407, and then divided by 8.31. And if I do that, hold on here, hold on here. I get 249.97, so 250. Okay. But please feel free to, you know, when you see even multiples of, of volume change or pressure change, to do the same thing to the temperature. But of course, it has to be the absolute temperature. It can't be the Celsius, right? Because that would be ridiculous. Oh, and then we never figured out the work done. Let's figure out the work done. Uh, let's see. Work is pressure, change in volume. So it's 1,000. Change in volume is from 5, uh, from 1 to 5, right? So the final is 5. The initial is 1. And that's 4,000 joules. 4,000 joules of, of work. Wow. All right.